Madam Speaker, what has been taking place in Ukraine is pure genocide and evil. President Putin's invasion of Ukraine is no different than when Germany invaded Poland. Just as Hitler did not stop with Poland, we should not expect that Putin will stop with Ukraine, unless he is resoundingly defeated. While much has been done to help Ukraine's defenses since Russia invaded, and much has been donated in humanitarian assistance, it is not enough. We must, we must do more. We must send more weapons, more planes, more missiles, whatever is needed. The Ukrainians are going to fight to the very end. We must provide them every resource they need to win this war in whatever way that we possibly can. For if freedom is defeated in Ukraine, where her people fight eagerly and will to the very end, it will surely have no safe harbor elsewhere. Madam Speaker, President Biden's decision to ban the importation of Russian oil is a good step, albeit late and only after mounting bipartisan pressure to do so. There was no good reason for the United States to ever subsidize the Russian economy and President Putin's military by buying oil from Russia a source of Putin's leverage with the West for years. Now he wages an unprovoked and violent assault on Ukraine. And on a separate issue, nor is a good idea for the U.S. to be sitting alongside Russia negotiating with Iran on a deal that paves Iran's path to a nuclear weapon. Another pot of trouble brewing for the world as evidenced by their missiles launched at Israelis and Americans in Iraq this past weekend. Given all the challenges we face in the world today, we must immediately unleash American energy production so that we in the United States and our allies around the world can have access to affordable and reliable energy. We should be authorizing new leases and permits for oil and gas projects, expedite the approval of all pipelines, and stop the self-inflicted regulatory assault on American energy development and financing. In short, President Biden must reverse, with the stroke of a pen, every anti-fossil fuel policy he has put in place during the past year. If the president wants to lower gas prices at the pump and protect the environment, he is the one person who can do it, who can unleash American energy dominance. The world is going to meet its energy needs with oil and gas, one way or the other. It's just a question from where it comes. We can do it better and cleaner than anyone else, so why not do it here and serve the call of freedom?